Welcome everyone to round six from the Watkins Glen circuit. We're just going to take a quick look back now from the Dubai Autodrome for what happened last time out. So the Dubai Autodrome circuit covers 4.3 kilometers with some serious configurations of corners and long straights which was set to deliver some close battles throughout the field with 12 drivers lining up to make a move up the leaderboard. After an entertaining qualifying round, the grid looked like a mixed bag with contenders scattered all along the pit straight after a false start led to a reshuffle of the grid. The second restart to the race saw all drivers getting away cleanly, but huge battles throughout the race led to this first corner shunt where one of the cars ended up upside down on the roof. An amazing accident certainly left the driver's shaking. And I saw Matter went wide, so I took my line and then he came from outside and hit me on the back side of the car and then I flipped three times and that's it. The car was totally wrecked. Luckily, nothing happened. rest of the race managed to continue without further incident and Ratmaster pulled out a good lead to be able to take the win. This leads him just trailing by a few points behind Ninja with the rest of the field in a close battle for third place. The Porsche GT3 Cup Series has certainly delivered some classic races and today's race is set to be another good one. This challenging circuit is set in the beautiful Finger Lakes region of upstate New York and is the venue for today's six round fun zone Porsche Cup battle. Many drivers are still facing a tough battle ahead with the season still wide open Ratmaster is currently trailing Ninja by 90 points and the rest of the field from 3rd down to 7th trailing by just 60 points. The Watkins Glen circuit is an absolute classic and we're racing here today on the full version of the 3.4 mile circuit. The action areas today are no doubt going to be down at turn one where we've seen numerous stoppages in the past and then we've got the chicane at the inner loop and then down into turn eight the heel of the boot as you can see as we fly over the circuit i don't think we'll be looking at thunderstorms today with the sun set to shine throughout the entire race So as we're here at Watkins Glen, as the race is about to get underway, TRL Wolf leading the field away, and he's got a good start down into turn one. Yeah, Ninja's placing his car on the left-hand side of the circuit, trying to get a good run through turn one to carry some speed up through the hill. But I don't think he's going to be able to catch him with on this straight. He's took a fantastic lead. Pulling out along this back straight here, you can see he's probably got his foot flat to the floor. Yeah, I see him just pulling off to the right there. I wonder if he's actually just trying to break the toe there. And you can see just there in the background, Ninja running wide. He's obviously pushing really hard, trying to keep up with Wolf here. Areas like that are just going to start slipping back. Let's see if we can make some ground in these coming coming turns. Uh, it looks like we're getting another look at the start of the race here. Obviously Ratmaster's making a few moves coming from the back of the grid. Starting master at this race due to a win in Dubai. And he's uh, certainly carrying some good speed through here. Hopefully he can get on the back of Ewok as he comes up the hill and make a move down this long back straight. 
He's certainly in his slipstream now. He only needs to pull to the right. Is he going to go left? Is he going to go right? He's going to take him here. He's going to take him here. He's going to the inside. What a move. He's made a great move there. Puts him into fourth place. Oh, but Fiebs has run wide. He's run wide. He's got him on the inside here. Cars have crashed into each other. I hope we can get another look at that. I don't think he had anywhere else to go. So this battle's certainly going to continue. That master's all over the back of him here. And he's going to be, I think he's going to really struggle to hold him off here in these coming corners. Thieves and it really needs to position his car well in these next two corners. Coming to the end of the boot here. Taking it up the hill. Is he going to try into this turn? No, he's not. He's too far away. He's certainly close enough to him to get a run down the start finish straight, that's for sure. He gets a good slipstream out of this last corner. Oh, and Phoebus has run a little bit wide there as well as Ewok. He looks like he, he has, he's picked up a time penalty, he's had to slow down, he's pulled off to the left hand side. That lets Ratmaster through and I think he's going to take that with open hands. Who'd have thought it going from last, he's into third place. So we're back on board here with Ratmaster. It looks like we're going to see how he's made it from the back of the grid through the field. Coming down to turn one here is jink left, jink right. Comes up the inside. And he's, uh, he's running, I think he's behind Ewok. Yeah, he's behind Ewok here as he comes up the hill. Remember we've seen it just a few minutes ago as he gets a good run up the hill and gets right in his slipstream. You can see he's got his foot firmly wedged to the floor here, just trying to get under that big rear wing. I don't, th I don't think he thought he was going to shoot down the inside here. He certainly didn't cover it off. And you can see just up ahead, you can see uh, Phoebes to run wide. And he tries to place it down the inside there, and obviously there's a bit of contact. I'm not sure on the running to this turn whether Ratmaster's uh, thinking he's needed to give up the place just in case there's a penalty given due to the contact. I don't think it was intentional, that's for sure. I certainly don't think these, these two races are very professional. Certainly wouldn't have thought there'd be any largey bargy pushing people out of the way. And it looks like we've got another look back here at the replay with Phoebes of running wide. Just seeing it from his perspective. I think he just carries too much speed into the, uh, into the chicane there. And he's certainly keeping his foot down here as we come into turn 8. Certainly keeps himself ahead of that last time. So as we rejoin the race at the end of lap, uh, lap two here. We've got Ninja coming round to start lap two. Yeah, I think you'll find it's lap three. I think Wolf's certainly uh, managed to get himself quite a bit of a lead even at the end of it. Oh, here comes, he's coming in for a pit stop. This is an early stop for Ninja. I wonder why he chose to stop so early. No, oh, this is right out of the blue. Yeah, I think if he picks up any damage during the race, he's going to be pretty disappointed. He's going to drop himself right to the back of the grid here. Oh, and that's a super quick stop. Something must have gone wrong there. Whether he's put tyres on, I'm not sure. There is a mandatory stop during the race for tyres, but something seems to have gone amiss there. He's certainly come in and out very quickly. So Wolf's up ahead, you can see him just pounding the laps in here. He did set a blistering pace during qualifying, setting a 144. And you can see he's certainly uh, putting the hammer down, trying to make himself a good lead here. So here we are joining the number 27 car, Feebster. Looks like he's pushing hard, trying to catch up with Ratmaster here. Coming up the hill and along the, uh, along the boot. Coming down to the uh, end turn here. 
His dashboard looks like he's stuck in neutral gel. Yeah, so there's certainly a long way to go in this race. And I think at the pace these guys are pushing, they're certainly going to be feeling this towards the end of the race. Some of the guys using wheels and some on the controllers. But still, you've still got that mental, mental agility going on. Yeah, so just joining towards the back of the grid. And we're back on board with Ninja. Obviously, push, he's pushing, he's gone wide. He's obviously pushing very hard to make up these places, having done such an early pit stop. Whether he's put himself on a set of tyres, we're still not sure, but he's certainly pushing hard. I think with the speed he looks like he's catching uh, Outcast here. He must have put himself on a, a set of softs with Outcast just running wide there. And following up the hill. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's took a big spin here. Took out the barriers. Oh my God, that's a huge crash. Yeah, how Ninja managed to avoid him as he came up over the brow of the hill there. He must have almost been in a blind spot as he came up over that hill and seen Outcast just sat there in the barriers. So we join him a little bit further around the circuit here. And he's off again, he's off again, I can't believe this. He's in the barrier again. I don't believe it, he looks like he's, he's lost his rear wing. Oh my god, it's all going wrong here for Outcast. He's going to really struggle to get this car back to the pits now. The bloody front bumpers hanging off. This is unbelievable. This is supposed to be a professional race. He's all over the grass again. Look at him here. He's going to struggle like mad here. I'd be surprised if he does just done pull it over here and put it, put it out the race. These mechanics have certainly got a lot of work to do during this stop. If he can get it back, that is. Oh, he's all over, he's sideways. Oh my goodness. He's certainly, there's certainly no lack of trying for this guy getting it back to the gritty. You've got to take your hats off to him. He's certainly persistent. I just hope the, the mechanics can work some wonders because this is going to be an epic, epic task for them to be able to get it out. And he's managed to make it. Let's hope he doesn't get speeding in the pit lane and manage to get that pit limiter on. Looks like it's crabbing. Oh, for some reason he's got his rear wing back on. That'll be uh, one of the benefits for the pit crew. We'll not be too worried about that then. And looks like we've got another battle developing here in the midfield. As we've got Ninja trying to make his way back through the pack. And he's coming up against Stig here. I just wonder how much of a battle Stig's going to put up here. Certainly running out of position, I think, Ninja. And it looks like he's just pulled over to let him through. It's a good choice, really, because he's, he's running a totally different race here, and I think he's well out of position, Ninja. Should be up, up near the start of the grid. He's certainly trying to get the hammer down. It looks like I'm not even sure if Stig's got a problem in the back there. He's weaving all over the circuit. So we joined Stig here, just uh, pegging it down the um, pit straight. He's obviously not got a problem with the car. You can also just see here in the background there, it looks like uh, Outcast's managed to get himself up and running. He's certainly had a task to uh, get that car up and out of the pit. Fingers crossed it's in a drivable condition. Just joining Ratmaster here as he comes out of turn eight. Back into the turn nine, he sweeps round up the hill as he's trying to get the hammer down and catch up with Wolf here. Wolf's probably, I think he's about nine seconds ahead at this stage. Just trying to do everything he can. He, he knows he's not got as good a car as Wolf. Certainly during the uh, qualifying session that he had to sit out, he was unable to really post a 
coaster time to see where the tyres were, how the track was warming up. I know he took part in the uh, pre-race practice session, but certainly the guys uh, who managed to take part during qualifying will certainly have a little bit of advantage. So just joining our race leader here as he comes around the final bend, ready to start lap seven. I think he's, he's coming into the pits. This looks like a scheduled pit stop. And I think he's going to be taking on a set of tyres here. Whether he swaps to the softs. Oh, sorry to butt in there, Jay. I'm going to have to uh, butt in over you here because this is actually a replay of uh, Wolf coming in to take his pit stop. And as you can hear just now as he's coming in, Ratmaster's managed to go through and take the lead of this race. So here you can see Phoebes are coming down the start finish straight as well. So that's, uh, that's him down to third place now, I think, Wolf. Maybe even fourth place. I think he's in fourth place. He's going to be fuming with this pit stop. So as you can see, we've got Ewok coming down. And he's past the, He's going past the start finish straight. And you can still see just in the background there... You, Wolf's still in the pit lane, what the hell's going on here? We've also got uh, Ninja coming down, Ninja's passing him as well. He's going to be absolutely fuming sat in that car. You can see him just leaving his pit box now. So as we finally join Wolf here coming out the pit lane, just managing to get out in front of Stig. He's going to be absolutely human. He spent nearly 50 seconds in the pit lane here. You can see Stig just coming up his rear, but I don't think Stig's going to be uh, troubling, it, troubling Wolf too much down this back straight here. But he's certainly got a mountain to climb from this distance away. Where's all that time gone, really? You can see him pushing really hard through there now, just trying to catch up. He must be having a word with his pit crew here. What the hell has gone wrong during that stop? And we're just riding on board here with TGE what pushing hard again and he's got just a few seconds behind him he's got the fast approaching ninja I think there's going to be uh, another battle very shortly between these two guys. I'm sure this is for position, but Ninja's well out of place having made a stop already. I don't think, uh, I don't think Ewok's been in for his stop yet. There's certainly, certainly no love lost between these two rivals. Hopefully we'll see a great battle develop as these two come closer on the track. And it looks like Ewok's also fast approaching one of the back markers if we can get a look who it is. Oh yeah, just coming through the shot there, it's, uh, it's Outcast. He's still pushing hard, fingers crossed that car's still holding in there. As we join Ratmaster as he comes up and over the hill, down along the boot towards the heel. Turn 10 as he comes up to turn 11. He's still, he's still yet to pit Ratmaster and I think he's going to be going a little bit further yet. Still pushing really hard, getting the back end of that Porsche. Certainly twitching. This Porsche season's certainly been turning into uh, a special one, that's for sure. No real driver taking the, uh, the lead so far, but certainly out of reach as the rest of the field. And this mid-leaderboard uh, mid, mid battle is certainly all still to play for, with just 90 points between the whole of them. In fact, it's 60 points. There's me getting ahead of myself. Just 60 points separating the... the uh, 
third down to seventh position. One of the uh, main main races currently unavailable to uh, take part in today's event. The old uh, madman. Hopefully he'll be back with us next race. But for now we're just watching Ratmaster as he's uh, putting in another good lap. Trying to build the lead from, uh, from Ninja. Hopefully he can build a good 30 second gap. Oh he's got his run wide, he's run wide. He's pushing so hard to keep ahead here. He's going to make, made, made, a, made a silly mistake down there. Turn four, turn eight, sorry, turn eight. So we're joining this midfield battle. Finally, um, Ninja's caught up to the back of Ewok. As Ewok's also approaching the back of Stig. And I wonder if Stig's going to get out of the way, realising the battle that's happening behind him. When he pulls over to the right hand side, what a guy, he's a good guy that Stig, he really is. He's certainly well aware of what's happening behind him as these two come face to face. He's certainly pushing hard, Ninja, I think he's going to take him on the left here. And he has, he's push, pushed his way up the inside. And he's made them, he's not made him run too wide, he's managed to keep a good line there. I think he what, knew he had a battle in his hands. Ninja's absolutely steaming through this circuit. He really is pushing hard. He knows he needs to catch Ratmaster because Ratmaster's still yet to make a pit stop. That was a good battle between the two of them. Not too much paint traded. Just allow him to get on and run his own race. So as we join Ninja now, making his way down the back straight, he's going to be pushing hard and see how he goes through this uh, the inner loop here. Whether he takes the light, wide line or the inner line, he goes wide and cuts to the inside. Still manages to keep a nice tight line through there, not running too wide on the exit. Managed to hook up that inside kerb and just let the car drift out wide as he comes down towards turn eight. This is always a possible area to get a little bit of oversteer. He's also coming up on the back of Outcast here. He's running very near the... He's certainly at the back of the grid after that huge stop he made earlier after that big accident. Surprised to see he's still racing. Yeah, he's certainly still hanging in there. Just pulls it off to the right hand side here. I think he's just going to allow ninjas to take the inside line no point racing anyone else really he's in his own race here just uh, hoping to try and pick up some points at the back of the grid i think he had a tough time through qualifying and the pre-race build up that maybe maybe upset his um, concentration as they run into the race and he certainly did have some stick at the start of the race so as the guys come down the pit straight there, we can see Phoebus is taking his mandatory pit stop. Hopefully he's not going to be stopped there too long. Who have we got here? We've got Grandmaster again coming down turn eight. Still piling in the piling the laps in, trying to make that lead over, over Ninja. He knows when he comes in to take his mandatory pit stop, he's going to need as much time as he can really. We really want him maybe 40 second gap, but I don't think he's going to get it. Looking at the pit stop that um, Wolf made earlier in the race, he was in the pit lane for about 50 seconds, so I've got no doubt. When Ratmaster comes in for his pit, Ninja's going to be flying down the pit straight. So just joining the guys on this little battle we've got coming up with TG Ewok here and uh, Wolf chasing him down. I think uh, this is definitely for position. So these guys are going to fight this place, I'm sure they are. Coming up on the back of uh, Outcast as well, that's going to find himself soon caught up on. He really needs to stay out of the way of this battle. This is going to be a really epic one, I think. As they come up to this corner, I think Wolf's... Uh, yeah, he's, he's made a move down the inside, I think. That's the second place, that, uh, second time he walks being caught napping there on the inside. 
I'm not sure whether Outcast got involved with that a little bit. Maybe he was just talking with the pit crew with the uh, damage he was suffering from earlier in the race. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I think Ewok's coming in, Ewok's coming in. He's uh, obviously struggling with his tyres as we can see in the distance there. Yeah, he walks in for his pit stop. He's obviously really struggling on that set of tyres. Hopefully he can put a set of softs on to get him to the end of this race now. So just joining Ratmaster again as he comes round to start another lap. I wonder how long he's going to hold out here because he's, uh, he's still not been into the pits and he's managing to get out just ahead there. He was not in the pit for too long. He's managed to just stay out ahead of him, so that's certainly going to uh, stand him in good stead to keep his pace up. He certainly wanted to get out in front of Ewok and not have to go through another battle. He needs to uh, really hammer out the lead here and uh, build himself a good gap ready for his pit stop. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of you guys uh, watching this race today are going to be available for the next Saturday's race uh, where we'll be joining the team the Porsche Cup at Alton Park. Uh, should be a fantastic race back in the UK. Uh, a little bit of a jump across the pond, so to speak. I just get the feeling here that uh, Ewok's wondering how long Ratmaster's tyres are going to last here. Having been in for a new set of tyres himself, he's wondering why he's not gaining on Ratmaster. But he's uh, certainly trying to catch him here. He's probably hoping as he comes around the corner here that Ratmaster's got himself into the pits. But now once again he's making another run down the pit lane. This has almost got to be infuriating knowing you've got new tyres on and you can't keep up with the guy ahead of you. He's sliding that car into turn one, running a little bit wide on the kerb there. You're just going to pick up. I think that was due to the run that he made down the pit straight, you know, there. He seemed to run off to the right hand side and probably picked up a bit of dirt on his tyres. Just joining the guys at the back of the field now with Outcast and Steve looking like they're getting close to a little bit of a battle of their own. Coming on the pit lane here. Stig certainly pushing, pushing hard. You can see he's struggling with that controller of his. Sometimes, I know he uses the wheel sometimes, but I think he's had a long-term problem with some of his shoulders and a I think it really does hit him hard when he has to use a controller. I think he'd prefer to be on the wheel any chance he got, to be honest. But he's certainly making ground here. He's catching Outcast. Whether Outcast's still carrying some damage from that previous huge crass he had. How he's still in this race, I've got no idea. But you can see he's certainly catching him here. Just running a little bit too wide there, probably picked up a little bit of dirt on his tyres at the run down into turn eight. He's picking up, he's certainly picking up the inside line there, I think he's cutting the grass. With an over exuberant marshal just on the right hand side there, waving the old green flag. And it's certainly nice to see that we've not had any race stoppages here today. It really has been uh, first class by the drivers here. Coming up to another little battle here. Just takes a little dummy down the inside just to let him know he's there. I'm not sure Outcast is going to let him pass here or whether they're going to actually battle for this position. I think Stig's going to want to battle for this one. And he's just run a little bit wide there as well, Outcast, as he come round to another lap. Oh, and they're both running wide here. They're both pushing really hard. I 
Yeah, and they're both pushing really hard again here as they come down to turn one. And both running really wide again. They're bound to have picked up time penalties here. Outcast just leaves it out on the left hand side, allowing Stig to get that run up the inside. He's also getting caught. Who's that coming up? He's coming fast in the background there. I think that's Mountain Dew Wolf trying to push his way through. It's hard to make out from a distance, but Stig's certainly powering on. Yeah, I think it's Wolf coming up on the both of them. He's managed to get rid of Outcast quite quickly and get on. He just knows he needs to make this move and make it fast. It's not T-Walk. Ewok's coming through the field. In fact, it's Feebster. What am I on about? Feebster pushing hard there in the number 27 car. I really think I need to get my eyes sorted at some point. But he's pushing him hard here. I think it's going to be a bit of a battle. Yep. Stig just moves across and says, come and take it if you can. Is he going to leave the door open for him here? Take him on the inside? No, he manages to push him hard still. Feebster's going to want a battle for this place. He's certainly a racer, old Feebster. Oh, and he's run wide! And he's got him here. I think that was totally down to Stig's mistake, to be honest. I think that battle could have gone on for a few more laps, but... I think the pressure had finally got to him and Feebster managed to just take him relatively easy there. Some great battles throughout the field here, still going off, it's really great to see. So back with the current race leader, Ratmaster still pushing really hard trying to build this gap. He knows when he comes into the pits it's going to be tight. And is this him coming? He is coming in. He's coming in to get that car slowed down, pit limiter on, and see see where this brings him out. This is really going to be touch and go if he makes a long stop here. We all know that it's about 50 seconds throughout the pit lane here after uh, Wolf made a long pit stop. Oh, I'm going to have to interrupt you again there, Jay, because as you can hear in the background, Ninja's gone flying past and he's taken him. Here you can see looking at the replay, this is happening while Ratmaster's in the pit lane. He's come flying past and he's taken the lead. I'll hand you back over. So yeah, as we just cut back to the pit lane there, you can see Ratmaster pausing as he comes out of the pit. There must have been some confusion during the pit stop there. And I don't, I don't think he's changed his tyres. He's come out and they've, they've had a word in the pit lane and I don't think he's changed his tyres. That's going to be a devastating blow to the championship as he's surely going to suffer some sort of penalty for that. He's come out just in front of Wolf who's going to be hunting him down. He knows he's, got, he's not got a new set of tyres on, he can't have. So joining the race leader here, Ninja's certainly inched out quite a good lead. He's looking at nearly eight second lead here. He certainly did his stop well, but there's still some controversy over how long his pit stop was as to whether he's even changed tyres himself. But I'm sure that's all going to be uh, ironed out after the race. But for now, we can just bear with what's going to be an epic battle. These two guys are certainly going to be going at it very soon. As Wolf sort of He's catching him hand over fist here, he really is. Ratmaster's struggling here on, a, on the same set of tyres he started the race with, but there's no, there's no way he can come back in and pit stop again now. He's, he'd be back down the end of the field. So yeah, as I'm just looking back over the data from the pit stop, he, he, was, only, he was only up on the jacks for 5.6 seconds. And he was down the pit lane for about 34 seconds in total. And you look back at Wolf's pit stop, which was around 50 seconds in the pit lane. He's certainly not had a chance to change that set of tyres. So as we ride on board here with Wolf hunting down Ratmaster, 
I know this is a section that is mighty through and even through the practice sessions he was uh, gaining on Ratmaster's time in sector 2 by a good 8 hundredths of a second so he's certainly going to be pushing him hard through this section of the circuit Ratmaster's trying so hard he's losing the back end as he comes out of the uh, chicane he's pushing him so hard here Oh, and you can hear the tyres just scrabbling for grip as they come round the night turn nine there, along the boot and down into the heel turn, turn ten. Oh, this is going to be an epic battle down this start finish straight. It surely is. Surely he's going to be able to get the run down the start. Start. Little work on him. Get my words out down the start finish straight. He's going to have to get a good line through here and make sure he keeps on the power not lifting at all, just dropping down to third gear as he comes through there hopefully we can get to ride on board with Wolf as he comes down the start finish straight well that's just fantastic of the producers there we can only thank them for keeping us on board this is just such an epic battle and being in the, being in the driving seat along here we can really get the drivers driver's eye perspective on how hard this is and how hard these guys are fighting he certainly if he can get a good run up here he can certainly get him down this straight get under that rear wing and get that get that slipstream is he going to pull out oh Ratmaster's pulled across he's covered the inside line can he get the outside line through here and come round the outside he's going to try him over the inside he's not he's pushed him out he's out wide he's out on the dirt Oh, he's managed to hold that line. How he's managed to keep in there, I really don't know. He's pushing him so hard here. Can he get down the inside again? Can he get him round the outside? Oh, he's out on the dirt. He's out on the dirt. Come on, he's hanging in there. Come on, guys. Keep it clean. That's all we want to do. Keep, this, keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. This is turning into a brilliant battle, and it's not over yet as he comes up over the top of the hill. He's still lining him up for this inside turn. Can he get him down to the inside? He's, he's not close enough. Ratmaster holds in for another lap. Oh, just look how hard these guys are pushing. He's nearly in the barriers there. He's that close. Again, round the outside. He's just pushing this so hard. Almost running wide, he just doesn't want to pick up a time penalty here, that'll just crucify him. Oh, and he's nearly out into the barriers there, if we jump on board again with, with Wolf down the start finish straight. Can he get a good run into this, uh, into the hill here? Pushing out wide onto the curb there. Oh, he's going to follow him up the hill and Ratmaster's starting to run a little bit wide. Has he lost it? He hasn't, he's managed to keep it in there, he's got the momentum up the hill. And that's really going to injure uh, Wolf as he gets down this start finish straight. with such a good run. I start finish straight down the back straight and he pulls out again. Oh, he's not going to be able to get through the. He's still managing to keep a good line and he's just not allowing him to get alongside anywhere. He pulls away a little bit further, making this next turn going to be a little bit harder for him to even make it into here. But oh, this is such a battle. Oh, and he's run wide, he's run wide, he's almost lost it there. Can he get the momentum? I just don't want the guys to trade too much paint and end up taking each other off. Certainly nothing like the uh, Red Bull boys from this weekend's Baku race. What a disaster that was. And for that to happen here, I know these guys aren't teammates, but this has been such an epic battle. Who would want it to end like it did in Baku? Come on guys, keep it clean. I think Ratmaster's got it here. He's come round to the start finish straight and we see Ninja taking the chequered flag. A fantastic race. Really good effort by all the drivers here. And the other two, Ratmaster and Wolf take the second and third place but I still think there's going to be a steward's inquiry after this race considering the pit stops. There was certainly some uh, 
let's say, difference of opinion as to how long it should take to do a stop here. And I certainly don't think um, Ratmaster has made a pit stop. Whether um, Ninja made a stop and got a set of tyres on, we really don't know at this stage, but Thiefs crosses the line in fourth place just to bring that home. What a great race he's had. Oh, and here at the other end of the circuit, we've got Wolves just chucking through a few donuts. Just bear in mind those license points, boys. We don't going to want to end up losing license points. We've got a bloody board in the middle of the track. I, I don't know how that's happened. It certainly wasn't there as we uh, cut to see Wolf earlier. And I think we're going to get a few uh, wheel spins here from our race winner. Ninja just chucking a few donuts in there. I do like to do this at the end of the race. Let me get a little look down here. This must be a replay of what happened. Oh no, crikey. Wolf sideways across the, uh, the inner loop there. Absolute crazy lunacy. I think he's either annoyed or totally elated. As Ewok comes over the line to finish the race. What a fantastic race we got, we've had here, guys. Thanks again. Just taking a look at the revised results, guys. After the race, there was a stewards inquiry uh, after Ratmaster was seen not to have taken a set of tyres. Um, Ninja did take a set of tyres, but supposedly just changed his front two tyres. But the jury's still out on that one. But for the time being, the points will stand as they are and they'll carry forward into the next race. Thanks for joining us once again, guys, and hope to see you in Allerton Park next Saturday. Cheerio for now.